third team, I guess, in a week, too. And I mean, what's, I know you were with Detroit for a little while, but what's that kind of like, uh, Fountain? Uh, you know, it's just part of the job, I guess. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm confident in my ability, so I guess it's just up to the uh, the teams to figure out what, uh, what they want to do. What's the league coming in? Yeah, all of a sudden you've got another new holder, new snapper, et cetera. Does that, you know, take a little bit of time to adjust usually? Sure, naturally. Um, but, you know, these guys are so good at what they do already. You don't want to change up too much. But, yeah, just getting to know them and, and figuring stuff out from there. What did what they you tell you about the opportunity here? I mean, I guess you just got to go out and make kicks and, tr and try to win the job. I, I'm assuming that's your mindset. Yeah, just go out there and make some kicks. Not much to it. Just go out there and uh, do my job. What do you remember from your stay here a couple of years ago? <laughs> um, you know, I, I knew Morgan just from that one stint, but that's, uh, you know, really about it. I mean, a lot of the same coaches, too. So um, still just, you know, got to go back around the uh, the building and say hello to everybody. How do you think things went maybe first time out, maybe in your eyes uh, today? All right. I mean, still, uh, you know, it's just practice, figuring some stuff out, and then just get ready to play against New England, make some kicks. How much... Uh, Nah, no excuses. Just uh, got to make the kicks, but I'm not really going to sweat it over practice. You talked about the whirlwind a little bit. Just what has the last week been like for you dealing with all this? Uh, you know, it's uh, part of the job. So it's, you know, you get a call, come into Tennessee, do a physical, and here we are practicing. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, been a crazy summer, but, you know, it's not a... Uh, it's not really going to get to me. I feel all right. How much different of what kind of transpired up in Minnesota? Yeah, I mean, uh, Braves is going to definitely give the full extent of what we want to kind of discuss about the injury itself. But, I mean, I uh, just had something happen to practice that, you know, um, just came up and went to the medical staff, and I'm just following their directions and the best way to, to uh, attack it and get better. So, I mean, it's nothing too serious, but, I mean, I'm just going to make sure I take the right steps to get back to the road recovery. Are hopeful of David playing Friday night? I mean, I, that's, that's what I'm aiming for. So, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know any, any timeline, but uh, I'm just going to take it day, day, one day at a time so well, far. What's the frustration level? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I, I think the first couple of days that I've had it and where I found out I wasn't going to play in Minnesota, I was definitely down. And um, Coach Coach Raves was quick to kind of know that I was upset and, and pick me up and be like, hey, like, keep your head up. You can't do anything about it. Uh, we got we got to be smart with it and um, just listen to the trainers and do it do whatever you can as a teammate when you when you're not able, able to play. So that's just the approach I'm taking. What else can you do maybe while you're not able to be out there? It looks like you're charting play today. What, what what are you able to do while you uh, can't practice? Fully fully um, involved in the meetings and you know being however however helpful I can on the field today was just charting the plays, but uh, involved with the, you know the installs and like what we got going on in practice and still preparing. Um, as you know, for set, uh, Friday against New England. So, other than taking the reps on the field and doing everything else. I was just listening to them, listening to the protocol. That's what they wanted me to do, so that's what I did. Would you have finished you were, up a game if uh, if something had happened to Malik and he had to come out? Could you have finished up a game if they needed you? Uh, I mean, I'm not, it's not my decision. It was the medical staff's decision and the coach's decision. Um, I guess maybe regular season or something like that. It might have, might have, might have been different, but again, it wasn't my call. Yeah, it was good to get out here and uh, compete against each other. Obviously, like split the teams up and stuff like that. I think it, it brought out a lot of competition between the guys, and it's good competition. Some guys who haven't been able to play with other guys got to mix and match while they might be in the three normally playing with the starters and vice versa. So I think it was a lot of uh, room for like opportunity and a lot of room for growth from a lot of players, and I think that's what you saw today. I have no clue. Obviously, like, you know, I'm not the coach. Yeah. So I'm just preparing myself like it's a game and Sean watch. <laughs> and, and then, yeah. And if they tell me I'm playing, then I'm playing. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. But.